what is going on guys today i'm going to show you how to set up material instances now this is going to sort of already look very similar to my last video but basically what a material instance allows you to do is change an asset or a material very quickly uh, just by clicking on the instance so we see this sort of blue plastic this is actually deriving from the original base material which is this gold one so if i double click this blue reflective material you'll get this come up instead of our usual material editor what this allows us to do if you middle mouse click your um tab it'll close it so what this allows us to do is let's say i wanted this to be green and metallic i could just click on here go green i can go to the metallic so it's one and let's make it a little bit less rough or a little bit more rough should i say uh, less shiny and boom we've got a shiny uh green material that's metallic now that was very very quick i didn't have to set up a whole new material come in here and change it and that's because i'm using material instances or parameters or scalars of cut they get a few different names so let's set one of those up so i'm going to undo what i just changed on this and make you back to a shiny blue so if we right click create material and we're going to call this instance example if i can spell correctly yeah so in here we're going to set up our free uh nodes again as we did before so if you followed the last material video you'll know how to set these up we're coming to here and we're going to just make this red let's just make it a sort of plastic that's not fully shiny something like that that's perfect now if i click apply and let's copy one of these put that on we've got our play uh sort of basic red material now i could go into here and say oh i want it to be green and stuff and change these all manually and re-click apply but i want this to be an instance so if i come into the uh sort of right click our free constant and convert to parameter call it what we want color and you can even put it into a group so let's call this basic because these are all the basic parameters we're going to be using go to your metallic right click convert and we'll call that metallic and again go to your groups Oh, not none, basic. Go to your roughness, right click convert, and call that roughness. Usually call it a name that you're going to be very familiar with. Right? That's perfect. Now, if you wanted to make one of these, so this is called a these are called scalars, the parameters, but also called scalars. If you hold left, uh, if you hold S, sorry, hold S on your keyboard and left click, you'll get one of those by default. Because I was holding S too long, I actually typed in the title. So S, left click, and you'll get a parameter and you can call it what you want and this is basically equivalent to having a one constant right clicking it and converting that's the exact same thing except you're skipping the step of having to convert you're already making it now if i click apply these will work as scalars now so if i go to change it in the material editor they will actually change right if i were to close this and not save that progress is going to be lost what you can do is you can right click the material you've made. Now this would be considered like a master material. So imagine having a material of 20 different things you can change, right? But you wanted to make minor changes to different parts where you place that material. You can right click that material and create material instance. Come into here and we'll call it instance test. So whatever you want. If you actually want the name conventions, you would usually put M underscore to mean material. And then mi underscore to mean instance material instance that's if you want to get the naming correct now if i drag this onto here it's going to be no change right now but if we double click it we're going to get this separate menu that looks a bit neater and i apparently didn't put my uh metallic in the right group so if we go back into here go into our metallic go into the group set that to basic and reapply then i get moved back to the basic group so you can separate your stuff into separate groups to make it be easier to follow if you've got a very complex master material so again make sure that's dragged onto there and start changing it so now if i want to make it a blue we want to make it metallic so tick the boxes as you do it and we want to make it shiny there you go that's a bit of a dark blue so you can click on the blue again and you could change some of this so you could go into here make it like this and we've got like a looks like a, a car you know like a very shiny car material and yeah and that's basically how you set up instances and how you'd use them they can get very very complex and you can end up having a material that's got like a, a hundred different things to change but as long as you organize them you will tend to be able to find what you're looking for hope you guys enjoyed and i'll catch you in the next one